शास्त्रुकृत दक्षिमुजाधि From the 14th to the 16th centuries, the capital city of Vijayanagar was one of the most prosperous cities in the world. People from distant countries rubbed shoulders with each other in the marketplaces here. Portuguese merchants brought the best horses from Arabia. Diamonds came here from Golconda. and textiles and spices flowed here from all corners of the world this was one of the most thriving and cosmopolitan places in the medieval world a portuguese traveler barbosa wrote The king allows such freedom that every man may come and go and live according to his own creed without suffering any annoyance and without inquiring whether he is a Christian, Jew, Moor or heathen. Great equity and justice is observed to all not only by the ruler but by the people to one another. The ceiling of the Virupaksh temple at Hampi is covered with paintings of the 15th century. The paintings at Hampi exhibit vigor. There is a sense of purpose and belief which is seen in these paintings. As in the paintings of the past, the themes are mainly religious there is a deep intertwining of the story of the vijayanagar empire and its kings with the stories of the gods they believed in along with epic themes we see the procession of the revered sage vidyaranya who was the spiritual mentor of the founders of the Vijayanagar empire The temple at Lipakshi was made in the 16th century by the Nayak brothers Virupanna and Viranna at a center of trade and pilgrimage in the Vijayanagar empire The paintings on the ceiling of the mandap here are some of the finest mural paintings of the medieval period in India. Lipakshi presents the richness and color of a great cosmopolitan society. It presents one of the great moments in indian painting the painter here has a highly developed skill and also the vitality and grace which come from deep personal conviction and religious belief there is a sense of liveliness here which is enhanced by the depiction of the protruding eye In profiles we see the further eye shown beyond the line of the face A sense of liveliness is also conveyed by angular features and by the peaked corners of clothes We see these conventions spanning the course of many centuries across the entire Indian subcontinent The Mattancheri Palace was built by the Portuguese in 1555 and presented to the ruler of Kochi 
Legends associated with Shiv and Parvati, Krishna and Ram were painted here on the walls. In the words of the late Stella Kramrish, a great scholar of Indian art, classical Indian painting had shown God in a world enchanted by his presence. On the walls of the temples and palaces of Kerala, the gods are seen complete in themselves, symbolizing, as it were, the fact that everything is within the divine, and the divine is all there is. The ceiling of the Chidambaram temple also presents some of the finest surviving paintings of the Nayak period. There are many excellent paintings here on the theme of Lord Shiv. They retain the lively sense of the early paintings of Vijayanagar. Nirne Jayati Chot Kantham Nirunadhar